Hello viewers, welcome to 8th another video from this board. Today in this video, I will showcase how you have to set up a newly bought Chromebook that is running on Chrome OS. One might ask what is a Chromebook? A Chromebook is also a laptop that is based on Chrome operating system developed by Google. So unlike most laptops that usually run on Linux, Windows or Mac OS, Chromebooks are specially designed to run Chrome OS which supports Google Play Store and also comes with a pre-built Chrome web browser. So today, without spending any further time, let's see how you can set up. In this case, specifically the Asus Chromebook Flip C241 without spending any further time. On the Asus Chromebook Flip C214, the power button is on the right side. I am pressing the same. Within a few seconds, the laptop will boot. As you can see, there is the Google Chrome logo, which means this device is based on Chrome OS. In the next option, you will get an option to choose between the input language where I am actually changing from English US to English India. Google Chrome OS supports multiple languages, so you can select a language depending on your priority. So let us go to the next menu and let us connect this device to a Wi-Fi network. Do note that to set up a Google Chromebook or any Chromebook, you need active internet connection. So you can either connect this device to a Wi-Fi network or turn on the hotspot on your smartphone and connect this laptop. Without an active internet connection, you won't be able to use a Google Chromebook. As you can see, this specific laptop supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi network. However, some of the budget Chromebooks might just support 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. So once it connects to the Wi-Fi, it actually shows a few terms of services where you have to accept those or deny those. However, if you deny most of them, you won't be able to use this device. Again, in the next menu, the device will search for the update and will configure using the internet services. You can set up this device for yourself or for a child. As I am using this laptop for myself, I will select you and I will enter the Gmail ID that I usually use with my Google account. So this could be a new email ID or an already existing email ID which can be configured on the Chromebook using the email ID and the password. Depending on your internet speed, it might take a bit of a time for it to go to the next setting option. Once you properly log in to your email ID by entering the proper password, you will get a few more options to select on the Chromebook. Uh, on this case, the Asus Chromebook Flip C14, you can also configure Google Assistant and uh, select a few more options. As you can see, you have to accept a few Google Play app services so that you can use Google Play Store on this laptop. In the next menu, you can actually configure Google Assistant where you can give comments like OK Google to get things from the device. Again, depending on your speed of internet, it might take a bit of a time to load these menu options. In this case, I don't want to use Google Assistant's Hey Google feature with this device, so I am skipping this. The device is almost ready to be used. As you can see, it shows some of the features available on Chrome OS or Chromebook, which are very useful for a first time user who is getting into the Chrome OS. Here is the Google Chrome web browser that has been installed by default on this device. And there is also a Google Play Store from where you can download your favorite apps, games and services just like you do on an Android device or an Android tablet. As you can see, if an app or a game is free on your Android smartphone, it will also be free on the Google Play Store as well on a Chromebook running on the Chrome OS. If you look at the notification menu, it looks just like an Android smartphone and you can access various apps and games. As this device supports touch input, you can also interact with this laptop using the touch also or you can use the keyboard and the trackboard that are built onto this device. There is also a Bluetooth connectivity option on this laptop so that you can connect external peripherals like wireless mouse, wireless keyboards, wireless speakers and more. Here you also get a bit of an option regarding the Gmail account used with the Google Chromebook and 
you also get to change the volume brightness directly on the notification panel just like you do on an android smartphone for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get a notification each time we upload a new video this is vivek signing off